don't be afraid to keep changing. Um, because Mary Magdalene, number one, she came from one of the richest families in you know her time in our country. She it was unheard of that she was named the sole benefactor of her family's fortune. Um, her parents worshipped her. Um, and after she fled to France, and she continued a very um, prosperous ministry across Europe that very few people know about. I think a lot of people um, kind of close the book on Mary Magdalene's lifetime when she reaches France, you know, torn apart, crying in the caves. And it's just like, <laughs> that goddess went on to create an empire um, for many, many years that brought wealth to many, many people in her community. Um, and <laughs> Julia was actually part of it, ironically. And, um, you know, she, she just, she didn't have a poverty conscious, conscious mindset at all. And thank God for that, because there was just so many lives that she supported um, to blossom and flourish. And so Mary Magdalene is going to teach you how to get out of the fear around money and abundance, just like Green Tara does, just like Hathor does. But there's something about the way Mary Magdalene mentors us in that that's very, it's like sweet and tough and loving and creative. It's like having a big sister who's lived like maybe five or 10 years more than you and just been like, girlfriend, I get it. I get why you're afraid about this, but come on trust me, I've got 10 years on you. Like, it's going to be okay. You know, like live a little trust. Remember who God is. Remember who you are to God. Like, She's going to do that a lot with you. And it's like Mary Magdalene has been a big part of helping me trust, 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 trust. 